Hello everybody, Game Cook US Rocks VR again. I'm back. Um, I'm doing all this in the same day. Um, so that's why I have the same clothes. Um, and I'm pretty much learning as I'm going. So you're, you're, you're learning with me. So, now this next part is probably the part I'm most familiar with. <laughs> and that's just basically putting the motherboard in the case. Now, I'm all, what I'm worried about with this is that that heat sink is going to be too high and I won't be able to close my, put my, my case uh, door on here, so my cover. Um, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Um, I've, I've had my computers open before, so it's not a big deal. I am going to open up the window though because it's getting hot in here. It was like 70 degrees today, so what's it, February 7th? Um, and 70 degrees. Can't, can't ask for better than that, huh? Alright, so, you know, um, this really isn't that, you know, there's my case. There's my power supply here which I told you I had before. Now I probably should have like a 700 watt in here, but I don't need it right now. It should be sufficient. Because I'm using... This is my video card. I don't know if you can... Yeah, I guess that one. So this is a big one too. So I'm hoping that everything fits. Um, so this doesn't use a lot of wattage. You know, it's pretty pretty efficient. The uh, the 1000 series GTX 1070. So I'm not too worried about the power consumption. I mean, I do do video editing, but I don't do like um, you know, that's about the probably the the most uh, pressure I'm going to put on my PC. It's just basically, uh, you know, re-rendering the videos so that I can post them on my YouTube. Um, you know, if I was doing more stuff like really like uh, heavy production and, and uh, you know, uh, scientific uh, computations or something or whatever, you know... Um, trying to do like six videos at once, you know, I'm not doing any of that, so um, everything should be running at optimal efficiency because, you know, you have the, you know, the brand new Core i7, right, 7700K, um, that's supposed to be more power efficient. Um, I'm assuming these brand new motherboards also are power efficient, hopefully. Um, I have a power switching PS, PS power supply, so should be good to go. I mean, if I have problems, I'll just go out and buy another um, uh, power supply. It's not a big deal. In fact, I'm there. Might I might have an extra one, but I'm not gonna put it in right now because I have to. I only have like really one more day to make sure all this stuff works. So I want to get this thing together and start uh, fire it up tonight and uh, see if I'm going to have to buy a new copy of Windows. I hope not. Because um, if I buy a new copy of Windows then I'm going to have to buy another hard drive because this I'm not going to erase this one. I'll just keep this as an extra drive if I have to do that. I think this is a terabyte, two terabytes or one terabyte. Yep. So here we go. The monster. So this is the hardest part. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, you can't see. Can you? Let, me, uh, let me put the camera down a little bit. Now I, oops, that's too much. Now I did put a brighter light in the room here, so hopefully 
Hopefully this thing will focus better. Let me just wipe it with my little soft cloth. There, do I look prettier? Probably not in high definition. Um, <laughs> you can see all the flaws in high definition. That's the only downfall. Alright, so... Alright, so... If you, don't, if you don't already know, all these little wires here that are here in the case, this is your power switch, your power button, your hard drive lead, you know, so that when you press the button in the front of your computer, it turns on. Uh, the other thing, too, is i got to take out this old, this is the back, this is the back where you plug everything in. So I have to take that out. And the new board comes with one, so you want to make sure you put that in. I mean, I guess I could use the table again. Let's see here. My little fold-up table, because I, I have, since I have the VR, I don't you really put any fancy furniture in here, because it's much easier to just get a folding table and a chair with wheels, which is what I have. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can't turn the camera right there. My comfy chair, I call it. All right. So I don't know how good you can really see. I'm trying to get it as close as possible. So, and this here is the uh, front fan. So you want to make sure you plug that in if you have one in your case. Okay? Because you want, you want as much airflow as possible through your computer. Alright, so the other thing that I want to get is... Um, my screws and these little things are for your motherboard. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. See if I can. There we go. And then the screws. Alright. And these are basically, these are all tight. It looks like my motherboard has enough of these things. So if you see any that are um, empty, just go ahead and fill the holes. They're all down here. Um, I don't know if you can see it. These here. These little... That's what the motherboard sits on. And that's what you're going to screw the motherboard into. So what I normally do first is, um, see this is different. Now the power supply on this case is uh, on the bottom of the uh, case. A lot of times you have them up top here, but as you can see, there's a fan here. So it's going to make things a little more awkward, <laughs> slightly. Um, yeah, so this adapter here won't do me any good. Oh, oh wow, you know what I just realized? <laughs> Actually, this is better. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you know what I just noticed? This little adapter I was telling you about? With the hard drive lead? This is where you, uh, uh, come on, focus. It's not focusing. There you go. So you, this is cool because all I got to do is plug them into here, right? And then I just plug this into my motherboard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I'm real happy now. So that's less playing around I got to do. 
<clears throat> so all you do basically is on the wires here, it has it written. So this says power switch. I know you probably can't see it. But it's just abbreviated, or excuse me, reset switch. Okay? Reset switch. I don't think we can get any closer here. Probably can't read that. But it doesn't matter. You can read. So just find reset switch on here. Okay, don't bend these pins. Um, so reset is here. Now it does say reset and ground, so I don't know what's positive, what's negative. I'm assuming the blue is negative, so you just put it on like that. Just make sure it's over the two pins that correspond with the name. Okay, it'll say reset, ground. So they're the two pins that you want to, you know, have your thing plugged into. And this one here is a hard drive lead. It says HDD lead, hard drive lead. And that just goes right next to the power switch. So this is really nice. I like this. And then power switch. Um, let's hold off on that one. Because sometimes they say different things on here. Alright, so here's the power lead. Now this is the one that's uh, tricky. Because it's got the two separate pins far away from each other. So just basically it says positive, negative. So that's actually written on here, which is good. It says power LED. Power LED. I'm saying lead. I just say that. It's LED though. Sorry. Power LED. Positive, negative. It's written on there. So you just want, just put the positive with positive, negative with negative. Pretty simple. See? Just like that. So this is really nice. Um, so I got power switch here, which is probably going to be power LED, I'm assuming. Or grant power, or maybe, sorry. Um, hmm. All right, so this is the power switch. So it's probably, on here it says ground and power. I don't know if you can see my face. Ground and power. So that's where, that's where I'm going to put the power switch. On those two pins. Now you could put the power LED here too. I guess it depends on what, what the motherboard says probably. So I guess, I guess make sure you just coincide with the motherboard. Just, um, Wow, well, I mean, okay. So I guess it doesn't really matter. It's going to line up with this. So that basically goes, it's going to go here. All the pins are here that you normally put these, these on. And just make sure you have this, you know, in the right direction. Like the, it says here on the motherboard. It's not very, they didn't really put bright, uh, they should put like yellow lettering. But it says LED, uh, hard drive LED, reset and power lead. So just make sure you line them up. Okay, so you're basically going to have it like this. Because all, you know, the hard drive, power switch, or reset switch, and power LED. So you're just going to kind of start, put the, line this up with the hard drive pin, and then it should just kind of fall into place, see? That was real easy. I like that. Okay, so you can put it on now, or you can put it on later. You know, whatever you prefer to do. I can try to put it on now since it looks like I'm going to have enough room. Just any wires that are kind of in the way, just, um, you know, just kind of push them out of the way. So, um, you can plug some things in if you want. Like if you think it's going to be tight, you know, like this is the, uh, 
This is the hard drive here. Okay. And then this is the... I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I'm, i got to put this back more. Sorry. All right, so this is your SATA hard drive, SATA uh, DVD. So you can run them. You can run them wherever you need to run them. Once you see how much the board uh, is taking up space. Now this board here looks like it's got some kind of weird. I'm just lining up the holes here to make sure I have the same. Hmm. It's very strange. So it's got... Okay, so I'm missing... I'm actually missing uh, one of those little screws here. So I have to make sure that I take one off. Um... I can't unscrew that one. So I'm going to need to use one of those ones that are in the bag here. See this? Okay, what, what I'd like to do, since it's a different... I don't know if these are going to be the same height. So I have to kind of... These little thingies here. They just screw into the motherboard. Because I'm missing one right here, but I don't know if it's going to screw in now. They're not going to fit. So, I have to go get another screw. I'm hoping that... Uh, These fit in there. Yeah, so I gotta get another one of these, which I think I have. Alright, so I'm gonna have to pause this again.